I'm just getting back from my morning run as the garage is open so the dog is following me and today's vlog is going to be comparing two pairs of cycling shoes um, I've just got them both in the box, I can unbox them, I got the opportunity to show them anyone that's struggling between the Gyro Factor Tech Laces and the Pro Light Tech Laces they're pretty similar shoes so so it might be quite hard to choose between the two of them. Alright, so we've got our two sets of shoes here. Um, first up, the Prolite Tech Lace. Um, people presumably know what they look like. They are the lighter of the two shoes. They have the three Velcros with the laces, um, so they're adjustable on the move, unlike the set that I have, which are the old style. Where you have to tie the knot, sort of like a football boot. The first thing you notice about these is the uh, the weight. They are a real light shoe, but then again, they are really thin as well. That's probably um, another factor about these shoes. So probably not great for British winters, especially this white colour. Although they seem like they're made out of a sort of a dirt proof material, it seems more like a synthetic, uh, like plasticky kind of material. Super stiff set of shoes, um, what you'd expect when you pay this kind of money. The yeah. usual stuff with the gyro shoes, the pro light insoles. The insoles that come in the shoe have uh, no arch support, whereas you can add some variable arch support like uh, all Giro shoes, I should imagine we'll find the same thing in this box whereas this is more a comparison between the two shoes rather than between these shoes and other brands first look, lightweight pair of uh, proper racing shoes presumably hill climbing, that kind of thing I should imagine they're quite hard to tighten up for a sprint and they're real lightweight as well so you might get a little bit of movement in the shoe uh, due to the lack of stiffness in the fabric although the suppleness may help on the uh, on the longer rides next up the factor tech laces so Another similar shoe, people may be stuck in limbo between both sets, that's why I thought I'd uh, put this in the vlog today, since I've got the opportunity. The main noticeable difference with these ones is this boa dial at the top for a little bit more security. So that works just like the standard, standard boa dial and then with two velcros at the bottom. Again, stiff shoe, hardly any movement. The uh, soles actually have different branding on them. One is Eastern and the other just says uh, Gyro Advanced Concept. This is a um, heavier shoe. You notice that straight away, but then again, the material's thicker. So probably better for racing in milder conditions. I'd definitely say that these Pro Lights, you'd need to race in sort of above 20 degrees. Otherwise, they might end up getting a bit thin especially if you drop down below 10 they might be too thin and you have to start faffing around with overshoes and stuff they feel uh, more rigid in the uh, material around the outside although it is quite a thick heel on this one um, you can feel the amount of fabric there, the amount of padding so if you get problems there that may be better for you or if you know that you have a narrow heel and you prefer more of an hourglass shape these might suit you better I would say in conclusion 
um, of this quick review that these are going to be a tighter fit, especially if you're sprinting that boa helps push your heel into the back of the shoe um, and they can be tightened up real tight whereas these laces probably have like a bit of a bit less range especially as you start to bring them right over and then you have the little flaps which might be an issue with all three uh, being velcro but then again they are a heavier shoe so if you're climbing more or if you're riding in hotter weather I should imagine the tech laces are probably the, um, the best option to go for.